Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing About Town here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, today, I, if you watched the video yesterday, you see I did the big Buddha statue. Uh, well, what I'm now doing is I'm opposite, and we're gonna go up to the, uh, the Admiral statue and where the radio station is, some beautiful views. Uh, definitely well worth coming up to and putting on your radar if you've not been up here before. It really is a lovely, lovely area, and definitely the views there, you get some fantastic photos, as you're gonna see uh, when I go up there and have a look in a minute. So that's where we are right now. So uh, if you have a look on the map, I'll show you exactly where we are. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up this hill. And uh, if you wanna do your fitness, trust me, this hill, if you wanna do hill runs, well, you wouldn't pick a better hill to run up than this one. And uh, it's not for the faint hearted, as you're gonna see. All right, so let's spin the camera around and let's get off there and see what's going on at the top here uh, with the views and the Admiral statue and uh, lots more. All right, let's turn the camera around. Okay, so before we head off, uh, just here, there's a small gymnasium in there. I'm not sure about what the daily charge is. I think it's free, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, if you want to exercise there, it's an open gym, so you're gonna get all hot and sweaty. Uh, but that's a, a good area to go, and straight across there, uh, that there road, you see where it says the Royal Cliff Hotels Group? Well, that road there takes you down to the Royal Cliff, and if you follow it, it takes you all the way down to Bally High Pier, around that area. Uh, so definitely uh, a nice area to look down. And this road here, let me just move across a little bit, this one there, where the see where the girls just come up on a motorbike. If you go down there, that takes you down to uh, Ketsasin, to where places like Cozy Beach, uh, Gentleman's Club, and all those kind of places are. So again, another great area to go check out. But today, we're gonna head up there. See that hill, look at the cars going up there. Look at that little tiny car. <laughs> oh look, there's two of them, brilliant. All right, we're gonna head up here. So uh, let's go see. If you haven't been up here and you want to get some really good photos, this is fantastic. I mean, you can see for miles, literally miles and miles, all across the base. You're going to see in a bit. And it's a nice place to come out just to check different things. They've got a coffee shop up here. And uh, they had a coffee shop before. Bloody hell, dude, you crack on. <laughs> Go on, son, you give it some. Whoop, whoop. Uh, anyway, they had a coffee shop up here, which they shut down, sadly. But now, uh, since then, they've reopened. And uh, again, you'll see there, there's some stunning views. Beautiful, beautiful views. And I don't even see up there, but you know, we're going quite high now. You can see through there or not, uh, a little bit. Anyway, we are going up quite high. And uh, that tower right there, you see the big tower in front of us? That's the radio station. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna park up up here and uh, I'm gonna show you around. All right, let's keep going. Where are these cars again, come on. Steep old hill. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to walk up here. So I mentioned earlier about running up here. I think if I walked up here, I'd pass out. And there we go, look at that beautiful parking spot right in front. Happy days, there we go. Boom, have some of that. All right, perfect. And uh, it wasn't long ago, I don't know what day it was now. I came up here and I did some pho photography up here. It's nice up here. All right, so let me just put my key away. Ooh. Incidentally, I'm not going to say it, but if, uh, if you Google key in Thai, <laughs> I'll leave that for you to work out. That's what it, uh, what it means. I'll leave you to talk that. Right, uh, let's uh, spin the camera around. Okay, so here we are, we're at the top now. And uh, there's a few little uh, knick-knack shops here. Not quite sure I want to buy a dress. Yeah, you want some funky, uh, some funky shorts, a hat, some sunglasses, 100 baht for the hat. Uh, for the sunglasses and the hat actually and uh, lots of uh, bits and pieces there but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you over here let's go and have a look over here and this is a view that you will be impressed with I can assure you you can see for miles and miles it really is a beautiful view let's go take a look at this so there we go there you are now there is Patea in all its glory how cool is that beautiful day today and the one thing I noticed more than anything is look at the size of the beach now. The beach is much bigger, it's much better. It looks so much cleaner, so much nicer. And uh, the one thing that we're still yet to see come back, and I guess in time that will happen, is of course all the parasailing, paragliding, they, they don't do that so much nowadays. And of course all the ferries. You see down there, that's the ferry port. That takes you over to uh, Koland. And if you haven't been over to that island, have a look. It's really nice. I've done a couple of videos on it. It really is good. And uh, incidentally, yesterday's video, I mentioned, remember I said the, the flyover takes you down to Bally High Pier? 
See down there, the car on the flyover, that, that's a curved bend, that's the, that's the same road. And it takes you out, in fact, if I walk down here, let's have a look. Maybe you can see, can we see the, the uh, pier from here? I'm not quite sure, oh no. You can just see, it's just down there, that green building, that green building is an automated car parking facility. And uh, you put your car in there and it goes off on an electronic platform and uh, away it goes. There you go, look at this bad boy. Dude, you're laying in the sun, you're panting really heavy, you're hot, and there's so many places of shade that you could just pick up on, but nope. I mean, look, go over there by that chair, you can sit under the chair. Hey, how cool is that? Yes, yeah, you, you daft sod, I'm talking to you. No? All right, we'll leave it there, you go back to sleep. Honestly, can't help some people. And here's the cafe. Look at this, lovely cafe, beautiful views. Go in there, have a coffee. Uh, really is nice, and you can see for miles. See there, look. So come up here, have a cup of coffee, get your photos, and uh, it really is lovely. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk in and I'm gonna show you the Admiral's statue. He's the, uh, he was responsible for the Thai Navy. Uh, go on, son, you give it some. Look at red rum. <laughs> He's giving it plenty there. <laughs> Want me Sanuk, mate, Sanuk? Hey, good, good. So there you go, look at the views. Beautiful, hello. There you go, look at those views, beautiful. Beautiful, all right. Papa Sangrid, I mate. Papa Sangrid? You can speak English. Oh, check you out. What's your name, young man? John. John, nice to meet you, John. Well, I'm Trevor. You have a great day, my friend. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Copper Mark. Your mum says you're going to buy a toy for me. Your mum says she's going to buy a toy for you? Yeah, yeah. Is she? Yeah. Mum, you're going to buy him a toy? Yes. Oh, dear. Make, yeah, sure, make sure it's a big toy. <laughs> you have a great day. Take care. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't see you. Bye-bye. So, you take care, young man. What a lovely guy. What a lovely guy. Uh, so over here... This used to be in the coffee area, but they've moved it out now. But this used to be where we were just a second ago. And uh, here you go, look, all different uh, foods, ice creams, you name it, it's all there, all good. All right, let's uh, head up here. And uh, this, this here is the uh, radio station. I want in there, oh, it's glory up there, look at that. Oh, it's another hot day today. And if you're feeling lucky, if you're feeling lucky, come and get your lottery tickets. What's your favourite numbers, guys? What's your favourite three numbers? Mine's 967. Have we got 967? 687? No. Oh, 987. Me Gao Hock Jet, Chamay. Gao Hock Jet. My me. Gao Hock Jet Cup. Has he got 967? 968? 967! There we go. I'll have that. I'll buy that. This is my lucky day today. Here we go. Uh, now, bear with me guys, let me just get my money out. 967, there we go. Tell I have. 100, cap. 100? Okay, come on. Uh, one second guys, sorry if the camera's jumping around, I'm just going to pay one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well I think it's Nungroy, tell me. Yeah, Nungroy. Okay, cap, come on. Thank you, cap, come on. There you go guys. So that's me, that's me number, 967. Gao Hock Jet. Let's see, will I be lucky? Who knows, we're going to find out. Thank you, Cap Copper Mark. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit old now with plastic soldiers. Although I used to love doing the old. Do you remember the little tiny, I wonder if they've got any actually, let's have a look. Uh, oh no, they don't. Remember the little tiny plastic ones? They used to be great, you could have your, you could have your uh, wars and everything, but they were great fun. And uh, some fried chicken, 69 baht. Cheese balls, 89. Oh, Chips, wow. french fries, 49 baht. Wow. All right. Oh, it's hot today, it really is. Uh, but yeah, that's the radio station there. Um, I think it's a Thai radio station, to be totally truthful. Uh, FM 104.75, there you go, tune in. Is it a Thai radio, 104.75? Obviously you need to be here. <laughs> I don't think you can tune in in America, It'd probably be something completely different. And uh, there we go, they're buying all their stuff now to come and, uh, and to, to pray and uh, give their respects, pay their respects. Now, I'm gonna admit, Okay, before we get too far into this and before we get into it, um, I have to admit, a uh, quick photo opportunity there. There you go, stand there, get your photo. Sanctuary of Truth, beautiful. If you've been to the Sanctuary of Truth, you'll, you'll agree with me. If you haven't, get yourself down there, guys. It is fantastic. Um, but this is Monument Park. And uh, you can see it opens at 7.30, closes at 7 o'clock. No gun shooting, fireworks, no smoking, no food or beverage, no pet, no littering. Do not pick the flowers. This is a sacred place. Please dress respectfully. There you are. I can't ask for any fairer than that, can you? Um, I need to go and find something I can read because truthfully, I haven't got a clue 
what we're doing up here. I know that this guy's responsible for making the, uh, the Thai Navy, but look at that for a view, it's beautiful. Stunning view, all the way across the city there. Wow. And I know I sound like an old record, but you know, it's been so hot. And now I'm moaning because it's hot. But uh, anyway, whew, it really is hot. And there's the eyesore. That eyesore has just been there for years now. It's such a shame. I really generally want to try and sneak in and go up there and get a video. But I think if I got caught, I'd be in a whole world of trouble. Um, but there you go, that's it, it's complete eyesore. And I think the reason why they had a problem was because it was so tall, it obstructs the, uh, the Navy officer's view. See, look, there's the uh, head of the uh, Thai Navy, and he's looking out this way, and it completely blocks his view. And I think that was what one of the biggest stumbling blocks were about it, was the fact that it, it obscures his view. And also, I think they built too high, and also I think one of the fire escapes was too narrow. Um, but don't hold me to that, I'm not entirely sure, so, but that's, you know, the trouble is here, we get so many rumours flying around, it's difficult to know what to believe, to be honest with you. But anyway, up here, uh, I need to be a little bit quiet, be respectful, but this is the Admiral. He was responsible for the Thai uh, Navy. And uh, I'll find out, I'll, we'll go around in a second, and we'll find out some more information, because truthfully, and uh, embarrassingly, I don't really know much about it, to be honest. Shameful, really, I've lived here 10 years, and I couldn't tell you much about him, other than I think he was, well, not think, but he was the founder of the Thai Navy far as I'm aware and uh, of course over here look some more views it's lovely to come up here you can see for miles look at that all the way over there how nice is that and down there they let off fire oh, in fact there you go they're gonna do it now they're gonna let off the firecrackers and uh, these firecrackers let's just wait and watch this they're quite funny because when you don't know they're gonna happen they they make everyone jump up let's just wait for him to do this huge big reels Bear with me. Man, it's hot today. Here we go, it's gonna roll them out now. And set fire to it. Get ready. Go on, son, sprint away. <laughs> Here we are, he's looking at starting it. Here we go, he's scared, look, he's, he just said, oh, I'm scared, there we go. Did you see down there? there you go. Here we go, right, so you watch now, they're gonna make a huge noise now. Here we go. <laughs> See, if I was back in the army now, I'd be ducking, diving, taking cover, getting in the prone position. But uh, fortunately, those days are long gone for me. But yeah, they do that, and they do that quite regular. They do that very regularly. So um, for God, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie. I actually don't know why they do it, truthfully. But if you know, guys, drop me a comment below. You know, why do they set off the fireworks? What's that about? Because honestly, I don't know. Um, but this is the Admiral Krom Luang Jumbon Ket Ud uh, Udon Sad Sadzi Sakti. Udom Sakti, and uh, I won't go into it, but it just says there, here, dedication to Royal Thai, Thai Navy at all times, uh, when on blah, blah, blah. He turned 13 years old, the prince was sent by the king to further his studies in England. He was the first Thai prince to become a cadet of the Royal Navy. And on June the 13th, June uh, 1900, the Prince of John Bourne was promoted to sub-lieutenant and given a new assignment as commanding officer of the uh, Murathavasit Sawat, the Siamese naval ship. And he founded the Royal Navy Academy and the Marine Engineering School. So there you go, this is the main man. That's him there. And uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see little things like this. You know, it's, it just makes life a bit different, something nice to see. Step away from all the bars and all the rest of it. And uh, these here, these are offerings. People buy these and they place them down here uh, in, a, in a kind gesture as an offering to the, uh, to the Admiral. So uh, fair play to that. All right, let's head, I'm absolutely roasting today. Man, it's hot. And do you know, you see these shells here? So when I was in the army, I used to have a 102 howitzer, 102 millimeter howitzer shell, uh, without obviously the armor at the top. And they would, uh, you see where, see where the, um, the, the missile is at the very top? And then it starts to become the brass shell. Where they do it, they would cut that off, fill it with concrete, and then we would have to run around with it on our shoulders if you were a naughty boy. <laughs> they would beast you on the parade square. And uh, you'd, you'd hold it on your, on your shoulder, you'd be doubling around, 
and then they'd be screaming out, change arms, and you have to lift it above your head and put it on your other shoulder. So from your left shoulder to your right, your right back over to your left. Oh man, it was brutal. Really was brutal. But uh, as they say, it's all about character building. And uh, I've got to say, from a personal point of view, the army changed my life. And uh, I think had I not joined the army, I would never be here. And uh, I would definitely have spent the rest of my life in prison, to be fair. It really did uh, sort me out and uh, put me on the, on the right pathway in life because I was a very troubled youngster, a very angry, very violent man, shamefully. But, you know, I was young then and uh, I've never had a father, so I've never ever met my father. I stayed with my mother all my life. So I didn't really have that, that guidance, that person that could crack the whip with me and say, listen, you behave, young man. I never had any of that. And of course, like my mum did her very best. She's done an amazing job, God bless her. And, uh, you know, she's been my rock. But I was a very uh, wayward young lad and uh, I got carried away and did all kinds of stupid things. But hey, life is one learning curve. And trust me, I did some learning. Now up here, I'm not really going to do a lot over here. Uh, I'll just show you it. This is obviously, I don't really know what this is about, to be honest with you. It's more about um, religion and all that kind of stuff. And like I say, I'm not religious in the slightest way, but anyway, it's worth going and have a look. Oh, you know, look where she's going. All right, let's have a look up here. I really have no idea on this one. But uh, only one way to find out. Let's go have a look. Oh, check me out doing some walking today. Oh, my Lord. Upstairs, downstairs, around the bend. My flipping shorts are falling down. That's not good. Don't know what's going on because I still feel I'm fat. I don't really think I've lost any kilos. Oh, hello, look at all those dogs here. See, look, they just sit there. Look at that little one, bless him. You right, fella? And, uh, yeah, it's not really a lot up here, to be honest. The old cat there. Chickens. See, that weird, right? Dogs chase cats, cats chase chickens, and yet they're all here just mingling around together. Uh, these are one year, Mr. Sonthi. Well, here, there you go, that's an, that's an advertising opportunity, isn't it? <laughs> Come up here to pay respects. And by the way, if you need a visa, give them a shout. Okay, Whew. hot. I am hot, hot, hot. I'm guessing these are days of the week over here, a bit like we were. Do you remember seeing the video yesterday about the Big Buddha? Uh, I think this might be the similar sort. Of, yeah, here you go, look. Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, don't make any sense here. there's not any logical order. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, got that. Friday, Saturday. What does that say, Sunday? Hang on. Um, when, no, nighttime Wednesday, where's Sunday then? Sunday's dropped off the radar. Don't know about that one, answers on the postcard please. Why is Sunday dropped off the radar? Truthfully, I have no idea. All right, so that was this part. Uh, not a lot over here, to be truthful. The old money trees, very, very popular. And again, there you go. Remember when we went over to the Admiral statue? You could purchase these and go and uh, place them there in prayer. Pray, sorry, and uh, bring you good fortune. All right. Let's have a look down there. And how's this for another viewpoint there? Yeah, lovely viewpoints out here. See for miles. In the far distance, that's Naklua. And uh, there's the beach there, the big building. See in the middle there, the big building, that's the Hilton. And down below us, you've got Bally High Pier. All right, let's go. Whew. Hot, hot, hot. All right, that's it for today, I think. Let me spin the camera around. Oh, man, it's hot. All right, guys, so there we go. That's it today. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, like I say, you know, just wanted to show you a couple of different things. Just uh, bring something different to the channel. Just show you some stuff that's going on here that maybe you weren't aware of. Definitely worth coming up for a day. You know, I did the video yesterday and uh, that's a, a great place. And uh, again, you know, today come up here. It just kills a couple of hours. Trust me, you'll be in their good books. If you bring your missus or the newfound love of your life, you'll be in their good books because they love a bit of this. And uh, it's all good fun, all good fun. Right, I'll tell you what we do. Let me finish off with a view behind me. How about that? God, it's hot. Whew. Gonna turn me bonnet into a red beacon, I think. There we go, let's have that behind me while I finish off. 
don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, check out Discord, 19,200 members on this, totally free of charge. Lots of tourist information on there, lots of places to visit, as well as bars, clubs, hotels, restaurants, it's all on there. So have a look in there, it's totally free of charge. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below and membership starts from as little as 89 pence a month. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much indeed for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. <laughs>